The Lord be with you. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Jesus told his disciples this parable. The kingdom of heaven will be like ten virgins who took their lamps and went out to meet the bridegroom. Five of them were foolish and five were wise. The foolish ones, when taking their lamps, brought no oil with them, but the wise brought flasks of oil with their lamps. Since the bridegroom was long delayed, they all became drowsy and fell asleep. At midnight, there was a cry, Behold, the bridegroom, come out to meet him. Then all those virgins got up and trimmed their lamps. The foolish ones said to the wise, Give us some of your oil, for our lamps are going out. But the wise ones replied, No, for there may not be enough for us and you. Go instead to the merchants and buy some for yourselves. While they went off to buy it, the bridegroom came, and those who were ready went into the wedding feast with him. Then the door was locked. Afterwards, the other virgins came and said, Lord, Lord, open the door for us. But he said in reply, Amen, I say to you, I do not know you. Therefore, stay awake, for you know neither the day nor the hour. The Gospel of the Lord. The semester is rapidly drawing to a close, and so is the liturgical year. The liturgical year concludes in two weeks with the solemnity of Christ the King. It's faith that has been bringing us together over the course of this liturgical year, if not together in person, then together virtually. It's faith that brings these inquirers here today, faith that moves them to enter the order of catechumens, faith that brings the candidates for full communion here today. Faith, friends, is belief in God, belief in what is revealed to us by God. Or as the letter to the Hebrews says, faith is the realization of what is hoped for and evidence of things not seen. But in light of today's readings, I would like to propose that faith is a story about longing, about seeking, and about meeting. In the first reading taken from the Book of Wisdom, we hear that wisdom, who dwells with God and who is with God and of God from the beginning, will be known by those who long for her. And wisdom will be found by those who seek her. And wisdom meets those who are worthy of her. In longing and in seeking, we meet God, God's wisdom. And in today's psalm, the psalmist sings, O God, you are my God for whom I seek. My flesh pines for you. My soul thirsts for you. The body and soul long for God. And then the long-awaited meeting happens. The psalmist, who meditated on God through the night, cries out at dawn, You are my help, and in the shadow of your wings I shout for joy. This is a story of faith, 
friends. It's about longing and seeking and then a long-awaited blessed meeting. In the gospel parable, ten virgins were waiting to meet the bridegroom. It was night. The virgins were vigilant, vigilant in their seeking, seeking the coming of the bridegroom, vigilant in their longing, longing to meet him. The wise virgins brought flasks of oil with their lamps. The flame of their seeking, of their longing, they kept that flame burning brightly in the midst of the darkness of night. And when the bridegroom arrived, they went out to meet him. This is a story of faith, friends, the faith of the wise virgins. They longed for the bridegroom. They sought his coming. They kept the flame of faith burning brightly. And then the long-awaited and blessed meeting happened. A story of faith is happening right here today. It's faith that has brought us together, some in person, some watching from home. It's faith that brings the inquirers here today and the candidates for full communion here today. You and I long for the Lord. We long for his love. We long for his wisdom and his justice. We seek the Lord. We seek his face. We seek his presence. And in this celebration of the Eucharist, we meet him. We meet him in the word. We meet him in one another. And we meet him in the breaking of bread. Yes, faith is a story of longing, of seeking, and of meeting. Faith is also a story of vigilance. We must be vigilant in our longing for God, vigilant in seeking God, vigilant in going out to meet him when he comes. Vigilance is keeping the flame of faith burning brightly in the darkness of night, before the long-awaited and blessed meeting which announces the dawn. Faith is what we were made for, brothers and sisters. Our longing for God is the mark of his creative hand within us who are made in his image and likeness. We are meant to seek him, and we are destined to meet him and to be with him for all eternity. A final thought to share with you. In my life as a priest, and as a priest of Holy Cross in particular, I have been privileged to walk with so many people in their journey of faith, in their journey of longing for the Lord, of seeking him, and of meeting him. I've been privileged to be an unworthy instrument in the hand of the Lord in so many meetings of souls with God, in the sacrament of reconciliation, anointing of the sick, in the Eucharist, in pastoral care and conversation. It has been, it has been my joy to remind people of our hope in Christ and in his victory over sin and death and to console them with the knowledge that we shall always be with the Lord. I say all of this because this week, the Church in the United States has been observing National Vocations Awareness Week, a week dedicated to encouraging and praying for vocations to the priesthood and religious life. I also say all of this because I happen to be the Director of Vocations for Holy Cross. If you are thinking about life as a priest or a brother, know that you are not alone. I have a list of 80 
undergraduate men with whom I meet regularly here at Notre Dame. Fortunately, I have a lot of flex points and I really like coffee. My colleagues in the Office of Vocations meet with high school aged students who are considering our undergraduate, undergraduate seminary here at Notre Dame and with men who attend other universities or who are already graduated from college and employed. This is all to say, if walking with people in their journey of faith and reminding them of the hope we have in Christ and consoling them in the knowledge that we shall all be with the Lord, if that's appealing to you, reach out to me. Get answers to your questions. Get to know other men like you who are asking the same questions. Give me an excuse to have more coffee. Friends, God's plan for us is benevolent and kind. He doesn't call us to drudgery. He calls us to life and to life in abundance. Don't fear God's plan for your life. Long for God. Seek his face and get ready for that blessed meeting which dispels all darkness and heralds the light of day.